Hey everyone, Robbie Lockman here with Harness, and today we're going to be going through going over your first Lambda deployment with Harness. Wow, this is going to be fantastic. Look, take a look at here, I have a blank Harness Community Edition, not a single application or deployment running. Oh rats, well, we're going to fix that soon with a Lambda deployment. But a few prereqs to leverage in AWS. One is actually having a delegate running somewhere on AWS infrastructure. As an aside, I've created a post, which is linked in the blog, uh, installing a, a harness delegate and an ECS Fargate launch type. Pretty cool stuff, but back to Lambda. Now, if we look at the two prereqs that we have for the lab, one, we need to have an S3 bucket uh, to be storing our particular Lambda function and uploading it to. I have one called Harness First Lambda. Uh, now you can create one quite easily if needed. This one I just created uh, during the creation of the blog post. Uh, also, uh, you're gonna have a need to make an IAM role, so an identity and access management role. And what this means is that you need to have a role that's able to execute and call Lambda infrastructure. Uh, this can either be attached to the delegate if you're having a more advanced configuration, or in my case, I just created an executor role. And so without further ado, let's go about starting making our very first Lambda deployment in Harness. The first step we're gonna do after downloading Greg's file is actually go back to S3 and let's go ahead and upload the file. So clicking into the bucket, we're gonna upload a particular file and we're gonna be uploading Hello World. Now we can set our permissions a few different ways. But once you go ahead and set our permissions, this would be great. So we just uploaded hello world.zip and we can take a look at it and see the URL of our particular file. So let's go on and get cracking and making our first harness application. So since we don't have any applications, click add application. I'm going to call this application my lambda and saying this is my first lambda app. Click submit. And so when this sets up, we can actually dig into it now. and start RDing particulars that we need. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a service. So let's click on services. Let's add in service. Let's call this Lambda service. And our deployment type is gonna be Lambda. Click submit. So as this is coming up, we can actually add an artifact source from S3. So this is where our S3 bucket comes into play. So go ahead and submit your cloud provider, which is AWS. We'll go ahead and load a bucket, which is my first Lambda bucket. And I give an artifact path, which should be hello worlds.zip, which we just recently uploaded. Click submit. Next up, we're gonna add some items to the specifications. Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna change the runtime to Node.js 8.10. And also let's go ahead and add the function. So the function name is gonna be called hello world. And we're gonna give a function handler called hello tick world dot handler. Uh, these particular defaults are fine. Go ahead and click submit. Now with our artifact lined up, we can actually go back and let's go ahead and build a few things. So let's go ahead and set up an environment. Uh, so let's add a non prod environment. We'll call this non-production. And we can actually go ahead and go ahead and add our service infrastructure too. So our cloud provider is Lambda service with our AWS service. And now here's the tricky, tricky part. We need to select a proper IAM role. If you don't have one, you can create one that's an executor role. I actually have one called Harness Lambda Executor that I've created. And go ahead and give a region. I'm in the AWS East region, so I'm gonna go ahead and say AWS East, Northern Virginia. Click Submit. We're getting closer now. Let's go ahead and fill out a workflow. We'll add a workflow. I will just call this workflow so basic deployment. I have a workflow type that's basic deployment. We'll have our environment we just set up as non-prod. Uh, we'll go ahead and call our Lambda service. And our infrastructure is gonna be our Lambda service on US East 1. Click Submit. 
And here we go. Here's our lovely particular service that we have here. Now for the next step that we want to do, we want to actually just add a verification provider here. Um, this will help us get more insight if our workflow is successful or not. So let's go ahead and add verification provider, a Lambda verification provider, and let's go ahead and modify the payload. So we'll be looking out for a particular payload item of a 200. Click Submit. And with that, we have a very basic deployment here. So let's go ahead and start executing an actual pipeline. Let's go ahead and create one really quickly. Now, by creating a pipeline, we can just go ahead and add a pipeline and just have a basic stage. Let's call this main stage. Let's just go ahead and call our staff main stage also. By selecting the workflow, our basic deployment, click Submit. And now we can actually go and do a deployment. So if we click on, we actually, looking at all the pieces here, we have all the pieces that we need for a very basic deployment. So if we click on Continuous Deployment, let's start a new deployment, let's select our application, select our pipeline, which is main stage, select the build version, which is the latest, and say, hey, let's go. Click Submit, and all of the goodness should be starting. The deployment's going through. And fantastic, just like that, our Lambda has been deployed. We can validate the Lambda by going back to our AWS console, going back to Lambda. And we see here that Hello World, Hello World is there. Wow. Hopefully this example was helpful for you. Just like that, you can start introducing SDLDC discipline onto your pipelines as simple as these particular steps. With that, bid you farewell and adieu and hope to catch you next time. Cheers, Robbie.